Okay, guys, here you see my little Chihuahua Moose. And she is next to her favorite little telescope. And she just wants you to know that this next video is approved by her. And she hopes you enjoy it. And if she wasn't so busy trying to find more treats, she would tell you that herself. All right, guys, so what I'm trying out today for the first time is my Astrophysics 175F8, serial number 28, on my Mach 2 mount. And I've got a 12-inch ATS portable pier holding all that up. And um, I've got it all balanced out. And I'm going to give it a try tonight. So far, it's clear. I see a little, some clouds on the horizon, but so far, it's clear. And um, for visual... I think this will be great. I remember talking to George some time back that said this, this mount will hold much more weight. And he said it was the moment arm that would affect you. So, But for visual, he said you'll be fine. And this is a much better for me if I'm going to go portable than lugging that big 1600. This is just so much easier to set up. So we're going to give it a try. Now for counterweights, I've got two of the Astrophysics 30 pounders. I put one all the way up to the, um, as far as it would go, all the way up to the uh, deck axis. The second 30 pounder is four and seven eighths from the bottom to the surface of the uh, weight stop, four and seven eighths of an inch. Now as to the telescope sitting in the rings, the saddle, from the rear of the uh, objective lens cell here to the front side of the ring here, we have 9 and 3 sixteenths of an inch with this setup. And I'm using the Astrophysics Dove DV10, D-O-V-E DV10 saddle because I don't want to put the bigger 16 inch in, on, on the Mach 2. I want to keep keep this on there I don't want to take it on and off and so with the setup that I have here if I take the dovetail that's attached to the rings and put it flush flush with uh, the surface of the front side of this DV the, the, the dove DV 10 it's balanced beautifully wherever you put it it stays Okay guys, while I was doing this, using the power supply that came with the Mach 2, I was going to do some go-to demonstrations, starting out at the 1800 on the keypad, and I heard a click and keypad went off. Make a long story short, lost power, I checked, you know, there was power to my extension cord here, there was power to it. So I called Astrophysics, spoke to Daylene, she hooked me up with Liam. And luckily, he said you could, I didn't even think of this. Why I didn't, I don't know. So I've got my trusty SPS 30DM, uh, which power works from Astrophysics. And uh, I'm up and running. And uh, so he said Monday they will send me out a new power supply. The new power supply, uh, he said, would work better. So there we are. So I'm glad I called, because like I said, for some reason, I just didn't even think to use this. Okay, guys, so right now we're tracking the sun, 
and uh, I want to go to Cirrus, the star, and uh, I've got the keypad set to a thousand because uh, Liam at Astrophysics said with this other power supply I'm using for power works, uh, a thousand will be accurate, but the 1800 wouldn't. So we're going to go to Cirrus at 1000. All right, guys, so we're on Cirrus now, and we're going to take it to M42 with a speed of 600 on the keypad. All right, so the next object is going to be Deneb at 600 on the keypad. And let's try just one more M44, and hopefully there's not so much of this damn traffic going by. But these motors just purr, it's just amazing, so um, the scope is no, no issue for this Mach 2. As I said, everything is well balanced. You know what, just one more, um, this will be, again be at the 600 speed, M45. Okay, now I had to stop that because it, uh, it was going to it was going to hit the uh, the uh, tripod. So I always make sure that I keep an eye on that. Okay, so since I stopped it in the middle, now with this Mach 2, here's what I did. I'm going to go back. All I did was move it so that it wouldn't hit the uh, 
uh, tripod leg and I'm gonna go to M45 without having to do anything else just go to M45 let's see what happens and there it is so uh, that's the beauty of the smock too you can move it and you don't have to worry about resetting anything just uh, move it to anything and it'll go right to the object that you had also if you uh, heard the, my phone ring my cell phone ring that was Liam today is Friday and uh, he actually called back and said that they've got one in the mail for me he said I will receive it tomorrow so that is excellent service you cannot ask for anything better than that so that's why you heard my cell phone ring and um, like I said astrophysics always comes through at 110 percent all right so we're all set up for tonight I want to see how the uh, Mach 2 performs with the 175 on it I'm sure it'll be just fine visually and uh, I will report back uh, tomorrow as how um, everything worked out this evening okay guys before I give you my impressions and thoughts of uh, using the 175 on that Mach 2 from last night since my power cord did go out while doing the video I thought I would show you what the new power supply looks like and I just received it um, this morning here the next day uh, and um, We'll take a look at this. It's very windy out today and uh, got a strong southerly wind, but it's still cold. So let's take a look at this and then I'll give you my thoughts. Now, I really have to thank Astrophysics for sending this out next day to me, really above and beyond the call. And, of course, that's what you get when you buy the fine products from Astrophysics. Like I said, I've never been disappointed. They always take care of you. They always make sure that they are a cut above in the industry. And so, I don't want to forget any names, but uh, yesterday, Daylene, Liam, of course, uh, Paige. And then you have, we cannot forget, George and Howard. Um, those guys have been so much help so much much appreciated guys very happy as I'm sure most people that deal with astrophysics knows you're getting the very best So here's the light on it, so let me plug this thing in. There it is. Okay, so what are my thoughts? Well, I had the 175 on that last night, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to agree with George and Howard the um, 175 will work visually it is a bit shaky though if you bump the tube it, it uh, takes time to settle and uh, most definitely not for photography at all so last night I ended up putting my 130 on it 
and uh, you can see a marked difference between um, settle down time and the, and the rigidity everything is much better with this like I said that uh, like like I've been told that long moment arm so uh, I doubt that I will ever put that on again I, I just don't think it's uh, well suited and I will be using the uh, 1600 with that big scope